Hey, what's up, guys? Hold on here. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Hey, what's up, guys? Workout Diabetic Man here. So, you know, I'm doing the collab with all the people down in the description. Everybody's on week eight. I'm on week six. I'm going to catch up. I swear to you guys, I will catch up and get all my videos done. But this video, this question is, how do I reward myself when I hit a goal? This is, this is going to sound crazy. It, when I first started, when I first started, I would reward myself with cheat meals. Yeah. Cheat meals was my reward for dieting and hitting a certain goal. Now that I think about it, this is insane. Giving yourself a cheat meal is like a smoker rewarding themselves with a cigar after, say, hitting 30 days of no smoking. Why does this sound like a good idea? I don't know. Now, there's other ways to have cheat meals if you're dieting. And I don't recommend any type of reward, cheat meal, for a reward. Now there's things called, like, they call them refeed. Now this refeed idea is based on your calorie, maintenance calories. So when you're dieting, I don't know about everybody, but a lot of diets are focused on calorie deficit. So what happens when you refeed is you eat to your maintenance calories. The deficit usually works how people eat under their maintenance calories and this creates a deficit. So the refeed allows you to eat up to your maintenance calories, you know, giving you a chance to eat a little bit extra. So you don't really need to work in cheap meals I know it's hard to think about, you know, like you're never going to have these favorite foods of yours, you know, cookies or whatever, but that's not true either. There's all kinds of ways around it. But the point I'm trying to get to is why would we reward ourselves with something that caused us the problem? That doesn't make any sense. It's all a mind thing, really. I don't know, you know, when I first started, I was like, yeah, cheat meals are good because restricting yourself from something causes a problem later, but we don't even have to restrict ourselves from it. All we need to practice is moderation. I mean, even uh, cupcakes, even cupcakes are okay in moderation, you know. I don't know about you, but for me, that's my problem, the moderation. You know, can I go and eat a cupcake every day? No. <laughs> Could I eat five, six cupcakes at one time? That's not moderation. Moderation is keeping it limited to a certain amount that's healthy. You know, keep keeping in the boundaries, a healthy boundary. All right, so what I do to reward myself nowadays is I buy some type of health gym equipment. Last time, I lost a certain amount of weight. No, no, no. Last time, I hit a goal I set for exercise, 150 minutes for the week, which... It's actually kind of low, but still, it was my goal I set. I hit it, and I bought myself battle ropes. And uh, that seemed to be a better reward because it keeps my mind on the idea that what I'm doing here, you know, my, my goal was an exercise goal, so I set that. Now, there's nothing wrong with cheat meals 
there's nothing wrong with rewarding yourself with some type of treat or meal like that just keep in mind the point of this whole thing is to build healthy lifestyle choices you know and our diet is the most important of the choices that we make and if you have a problem with say like for me for my example I have a problem with sugar so I try to limit my sugar as much as I can and when I was doing the cheat meals I would reward myself with some type of sugar treat cookies whatever it was and you know that was fine you know sometimes I was good with it you know I just had my little moderation and that was it and other times I would trigger some type of craving and I would go outside of my moderation so I quit with the cheat meals you know that's that wasn't my thing it started not making sense to me you know it started making me feel like a smoker that's trying to quit smoking but that would use cigars or cigarettes as a reward it just didn't make sense all right guys I'm gonna leave you with that you guys keep making those videos keep believing in yourself and I'll see you guys around